Discovering Earth's innermost secrets, China's daring mission to dig deeper than ever, keeping the world captivated by their audacity. Communist nations have a leaning for ambitious endeavors, and China is no different. Presently, they have embarked on an enormous excavation project, highlighting the Chinese Communist Party's self-proclaimed competence as a meritocratic powerhouse. In contrast to the perceived disorderliness of Western democracies, they pride themselves on getting things done. However, their ability to substantiate these claims becomes a challenge, particularly when it comes to their grand-scale engineering ventures. The Three Gorges Dam, an immense hydroelectric project, faces a critical situation with the emergence of cracks, posing a risk of collapse. Alarmingly, this jeopardizes the lives of approximately 400 million people. Astonishingly, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, seems prepared to bear the consequences, though their motivations remain unclear. The potential loss of such a vast number of lives raises concerning questions about the priorities and intentions of the CCP. China embarked on an ambitious endeavor to construct colossal megacities surpassing the size of entire nations. However, numerous of these cities turned into what is known as ghost cities, devoid of inhabitants. Interestingly, this development offers a refreshing deviation from their usual practice of suppressing dissidents. Local authorities enthusiastically constructed towering skyscrapers to showcase their prowess, yet this habit became excessively costly, prompting the government to impose restrictions on these extravagant ventures, aptly referred to as vanity projects. In 2014, China unveiled plans for an ambitious undersea train project connecting to America. Surprisingly, the project never materialized. However, China did make significant progress in 2022 by constructing the world's longest underwater highway. Let's hope this achievement surpasses the fate of the unrealized underwater tunnel in Dalian. While the phrase underwater usually refers to car loans, this literal interpretation takes it to a whole new level. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP, spares no effort in projecting legitimacy, even though it already governs legitimately. Often, their theatrics yield favorable results. An illuminating article by the Wall Street Journal titled China's Green Revolution is quietly succeeding exemplifies this. Astonishingly, they resorted to painting a mountain green, highlighting the CCP's resemblance to Tom Sawyer. However, instead of deceiving youngsters into labor, they coerced them. This deceptive approach reflects the CCP's relentless pursuit of maintaining an appearance of success, even if it means resorting to such unconventional methods. So before we proceed further and analyze what actually China is doing to dig the historic deep hole ever in the earth, make sure you have hit the like and subscribe button to get instant notifications of the videos. Now let's continue. China has embarked on a monumental endeavor, constructing a remarkable 10,000 meter deep excavation a staggering 33,000 feet for Americans. Their objective, to create an infinite cavity. Yet, this ambitious project raises questions. Will it divert their focus from shipping fentanyl to producing methamphetamine? It's worth noting, however, that this venture falls short of claiming the title for the deepest man-made hole on Earth. That distinction belongs to Russia's Kola Super Deep Borehole, reaching an astounding depth of over 40,000 feet after two decades of drilling. China's presence in Xinjiang reveals a grave situation. The Weicker ethnic minority faces genocide, raising concerns about the scale of the atrocities. The gravity of the situation can be gauged by the scale of potential human losses. Given China's role, it seems apparent that concealing these casualties would require a substantial effort, perhaps even surpassing the limits of a mere hole. The drilling endeavor ahead is undoubtedly challenging, surpassing the height of Mount Everest with its unfathomable depth. A Chinese scientist, speaking to the state media, aptly compared the construction difficulty of this project to a big truck traversing two delicate steel cables. One might ponder if it's as demanding as performing splits between two moving trucks. Throughout the meticulous drilling process, a colossal weight of over 2,000 tons, comprising drill bits and pipes, will delve deep into the earth, penetrating more than 10 continental strata, including the ancient Cretaceous system. Yes, China's profound excavation will transport us back to the remarkable era of dinosaurs, where rocks dating back 155 million years can be found. This extraordinary undertaking is projected to endure a remarkable span of 457 days. 
But why would the Chinese Communist Party, known for its atheism and disregard for human rights, suddenly adopt a seemingly holy mission? Could it be a ploy to gain ultimate control by triggering a cataclysmic event that reshapes the world to revolve around them? Let's not give them any ideas. However, according to Chinese state media, a significant operation commenced at 11.46 a.m. on Tuesday, marking a milestone in China's deep earth exploration. This endeavor provides an unprecedented opportunity to study the Earth's subsurface, delving into regions previously unexplored. It unlocks valuable insights into geological formations, including oil and gas reserves, resources often acquired through foreign conflicts. There are potential upcoming projects that align with this initiative. Sinopec, a Chinese state-run oil company, is at the forefront of this endeavor. As stated in an official press release, Sinopec is determined to undertake experimental ultra-deep exploration ventures and push the boundaries of depth by leveraging innovative development in deep marine facies, geological theory, and exploration technologies. Concerns may arise about potential catastrophes. It is noteworthy that your perspective acknowledges the optimistic notion of could rather than an outright definitive statement of it definitely will. However, it appears that the CCP is willing to bear any potential consequences, even though the specific motive behind this willingness remains unclear. In conclusion, this project is not just an isolated endeavor, it is part of a broader directive issued by the highest echelons of the Chinese Communist Party. Last year, Xi Jinping emphasized the importance of exploring new frontiers in deep space, deep sea, deep earth, and deep blue during his speech to the Chinese scientific community. The implications are clear. As long as the Chinese Communist Party holds the reins of power, the Chinese people will continue to venture into uncharted depths. But here's an intriguing question to ponder. What does this relentless pursuit of exploration mean for the future of China and its people? Join the conversation and share your thoughts below in the comments section.